scientific study of vedas creation of universe starting from brahma class 26 today we are going through beyond quantum mechanics that is the scientist modern scientist studied up to quantum mechanics from which electron and everything are created but beyond that that is between brahma and quantum mechanics they have failed to explain so we are going through it now we are going through it from starting from brahma we know at the starting point of creation there was only brahma that was without any quality that is still the still brahma is the problem is every, every time from this at the time of creation a driving force came out from it it is a force driving force that is responsible for the creation and because brahma want to create a universe for that a driving force came out from it that can be created as an energy but there is no limit to it that is the only difference between our present day energy and uh, that energy that driving force energy it has no limit so it is called in parasite it uh, comes under parasite it flow uh, flows throughout the universe in the form of waves in the form of waves so at the start this is the driving force which came out from brahma nirguna brahma so it is taking it is the driving force throughout the process of creation it is responsible for the creation of this universe but as per newton's third law and uh, based on uh, veda also everything is in dual with uh, that is in pair with opposite characteristics so if this is the driving force we can call it as brahma brahma avar not a brahma brahma avar and this is the negative driving force or action and reaction this is action this is reaction or opposing force driving force and the force against it then it is called a maheshwara and in between it there is this static state that is called a vishnu so a form is form a wave is form this energy flow and continue to extend in both side direction so it flow in both the directions since everything is created in dual for this force or energy another energy form in the opposite direction that is it flows in this direction because everything is in dual nature or if there is one force in this direction there may be in the another direction also everything is in pair with the opposite characteristics so it also automatically followed as per newton's second law third law also every action there is equivalent opposite reaction 
So, it resulted in the form of this in between this neutralizes each other. So, it formed three points. Other things cancels each other because if there is a object here, if it is this attracts in the upward direction, it attracts in the downward direction. So, cancel these uh, each other. So, this neutralizes each other, this neutralizes each other. So, only these points are remaining. That is called ankyrus. Or that is, that can be treated as a static state. That can be treated as a small particle. Or that is matter form. This is in energy form. When these two combines together, this cancels each other, waveform it loses its waveform and uh, only three dots or three angiruses or three small particles comes out. So this is energy form. These three dots are matter form. So energy and matter are interchangeable. As per modern science, energy can be transferred into matter and vice versa. So if this is in this form, it is an energy form. If two combines in this form, it results in matter form. If these uh, two are removed, then it shows energy form and so on. So interchanging is possible from matter to energy and energy to matter. That is why light is showing the property of matter, particle and wave nature. Light is showing the property of matter, uh, particle and wave nature. As per modern science. The same result we are getting here. So, this fills throughout the universe. That is what we see in the last classes. This wave and matter. Wave, wave also is there. If it is not joined together, it is in wave form. If it is in joint together, then only ankyrus or particles are there. And different types of particles are also possible. This resulted in the formation of quark, ether, or uh, Higgs boson, or electron or proton like that. Because different types of combinations are possible, so different types of angiruses or particles are possible, depending on the number of waves joining together at a particular point. At a point, two waves can be joined, or a number of waves can be joined. So, depending on this, this particle, size, strength, etc. varies, depend on, on the waveform, wave nature also of this driving force. So, different types of viruses are possible. That is what we see in the earlier classes. Now, let us go to some Vedic Sutta. First, let us go to Rigveda Yajur Veda 6 of Sukta 30 and see what it says. Yajur Vedam Adhyayam Padimuna Mandram R. Rishi Hiranya Garpaha Devada Hiranya Garpaha Chandasa Puri Kushnika Sarahai Rishabaha Namostu Sarpepio ये के चप्र द्वी मनु ये अंदरिक्षे ये दिवी तेप्य सर्पेप्यो नमः It says that these particles are moving with very high speed and it is responsible for holding in the earth in the orbit. That means in this orbit there is energy. Orbits are possess certain energy, orbital energy. 
and it is due to the movement of these angidas or particles the wave and particles in this orbit it is moving along this orbit and it is responsible for holding the earth in that orbit that is what it says that means these angiras particles wave two way join together then forms particle these particles are rotating revolving around the sun in special orbits and this orbit is this moment is responsible for holding earth in that orbit so it is yet to discover as per modern science now let us go to another ajurveda sutta 7 of sutta 30 now let us see what it says ajurvedam adhyayam 13 mantram 7 ऋषि किरण हिरण्य गर्भग देवद हिरण्य गर्भग छंदस अनुष्टुप स्वर गांधार याषवो या दुधाना वनस्पतिरनु एववडेशु शेरदे तेभ्य सर्पेभ्यो नमः ई सेज दैट दीस अंगीरस और पार्टिकल्स एंड द वेव्स वेव्स एंड पार्टिकल्स आर traveling throughout our space and it is responsible for the growth of trees in our forest that means these are influencing the growth of plants and trees in the forest that means they are influencing us even though these are small particles Angiras, two waves when joined together, we get. It may be treated as either like or anything like that. These are influencing us, influencing our forest, the trees that grows in the grows in the forest. It also says that it is traveling with the speed of light, so it is not light. it is traveling with the speed of light that mean it is not light light is formed there after it is a another form of this is a driving force responsible for the creation of this universe that force is in the wave form and we formed into particles small particles also that is called the angiras they are also responsible for the growth of plants and uh, trees in the forest it also says that it is traveling without any notice of a uh, without any notice we cannot see it it is traveling and it is invisible it is traveling in a every direction so we but we cannot see it such a waves are the Such angiras are the modern science may consider it as either particle or anything like that, but they are influencing our plants and also animals or anything like that. If it is influencing our plants, definitely they may influence ours also. That we can see in the coming sutta. Now let us go through Yajur Veda, ten in Sutta, thirty, and let us see what it says. Yajur Veda, Madhyayam, Padimona, Mantra Bhat, Rishi Vama Deva, Devada Aginihi, Chandaka Puri Pandi, Sarega Panchamaha, Tava Brahma Sa Ashuya. पदंदि अनुष्पृषदा विसृजा 
it says that these particles or waves or traveling uh, are traveling with a very high speed like a light waves and it tells us to study about it it tells us to understand these facts there are such a light like waves coming from this from infinity which are responsible for the creation of this electron and proton etc that basic waves or driving force are traveling throughout the universe and it is coming towards us also these are sources of energy they possess energy also force power so we should try to understand it that also this of uh, this sutta says so now let us go to another sutta ayurveda 9 of 9 in sutta 30 and let us see what it says ayurvedam adhyayam 13 മന്ത്രം ഒൻപത് ഋഷി വാമദേവതക ദേവത അഗ്നി ചന്തസ പൂരി പങ്ക്തി സ്വരഹ പഞ്ചമഹ കൃണിഷ്വപാജ പ്രസിദ്ധിം ന പൃഥ്വീം യാഹി രാജേവാങ് ഇഫേന തൃഷിമനു പ്രസിദ്ധിം ദ്രുണോന അസ്താസി വിദ്യ രക്ഷസ്തഭിഷ്ഠൈഹി ഇറ്റ് സേസ് ദാറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഇൻഫ്ലുവൻസിങ് അവർ സ്ട്രെങ്ത് ഓൾസോ that means it is influencing human beings also not only the plants and the trees in the forest it is giving us strength also and we should try to understand it about this force now let us go to another sutta 8 in sutta 30 and let us see what it says ധ്യായം പതിമൂന്ന് മന്ത്രം എട്ട് ഋഷി ഹിരണ്യ ഗർഭക സൂര്യ ദേവത സൂര്യ ചന്ദഹ നൃചത് അനുഷ്ഠുപ്പ് സ്വരഹ ഗാന്ധാര ഏവാമിരോജനേദിവോസൂര്യശ്മിഷോ യേഷാംസു സദസ്യം form of snake movement sarpagadi that we have already seen sarpagadi movement like snake that is waves these waves are there in water sun and everywhere it is there that is it is uniform universally everywhere modern science uh, says it may be some either particle or a core particle or anything like that likewise this also says these particles are or these waves and waves and these particles this uh, driving force which is responsible for the creation of this universe of the creation of electron proton etc or angiruses are through or is the throughout in this universe it may sometimes appears and sometimes disappears it also says sometimes we it uh, come in the visible form otherwise it will at other times it will be in the invisible form in visible form means it is in the particle size that is angirus form join together and uh, this wave form losses and particle and if they are separated then it will be in invisible form that is energy form this is an uh, i think this is an answer to the question for our split electron passing through two splits that is quantum that uh, ends in quantum mechanics if we pass electron through 
two slits and allow it to fall on a screen on the other side it will show the property of light but if we try to detect it using some instrument it will show the property of electron we will get a two light electron will pass through this two slits and fall on the screen as two light so it is show the property of electron or matter if we are detecting it if the if we off the switch of the detecting instrument then it will show the property of waveform that is different bars are seen that is shows the property of waveform that means electron is showing the property of wave if we are or a light if we are detecting it using some or watching it through some instrument if we are not if we are not watching it through an instrument it will show the property of wave if we are watching it then it will show the property of electron how it is happening scientists fail to understand it they stop the research at that time because there is the confusion that means if somebody looks at me i am here as matter if somebody is not looking at me then i may not be here i am energy such a situation so this side is close to the research and stop the why this is happening because when it detect it using one instrument if we detect this electron that is these three electron it will show it may be in this form so we can see only electrons that will fall in the screen as two lines two passing through two slits we will get two light if we are not detecting it or looking at it then these two waves can be split as separate by splitting it separate these joints are not the it will act as wave so it will become wave form invisible that may be the reason as per veda that may be the reason that is why in this sutta it says that is sometimes it may be sometimes visible and in another time it may be invisible also that means these waves can if we join together then only this point is the matter is the if it is separated then wave is the that may be the answer for quantum mechanics before beyond electron proton that boundary beyond the para science modern science so there are two sciences para science and para sciences in para science the material this driving force will play the important role and it will act in this way it can take either this form or this form if it is in this form it is in wave form if it is in this one two is combined together then it will be in unkeras form or particle form otherwise if it is separated then it will act as wave form this may be an answer to the schrodinger's car cat experiment